Temperatures moves in Compton and South LA where street takeovers brought huge crowds and even fireworks. Yeah, this is the second night in a row where drivers have done risky stunts in this area. CBS 2's Gina Patel live in Compton where some of those cars, they came way too close to spectators, but they should know that this is a danger zone when they're there. Yeah, you know, street sweepers just came through here a little time ago, so there is no longer any debris in the intersection. But if you look close at the pavement, you can see some of the marks the drivers have left behind. We've got video that shows just what they were doing overnight. Take a look. This video taken just a few hours ago here at Compton Boulevard and Central Avenue. It looked like a large crowd was watching as drivers were spinning out, sometimes with passengers hanging out windows and open doors. Some in the crowd were shooting bright lasers, setting off fireworks as these dangerous stunts were going on. Fortunately, no injuries were reported yesterday, but people tell us People who live nearby tell us that there have been shootings at past takeovers. That's why they're nervous whenever these happen, and that's why they don't feel comfortable talking about the issue on camera. It could happen today. Uh, it could happen in the afternoon, late evening, uh, early in the morning. It's just whenever they choose. They're very quite uh, aggressive and uh, um, confrontational about it. And uh, for everyone to be scared for them not to do anything, Now, it's not just Compton where these takeovers are happening. This video was taken overnight in South LA, and you can see there was also a large crowd there cheering and recording on their phones as drivers spun and slid across the intersection of 54th and Vermont. Some people actually blocked the intersection for a time, so officers had trouble getting in and breaking things up. Now, as we come back out here live, deputies tell us often when they do come to these kinds of takeovers and sideshows, people scattered. It's very hard for them to identify who was involved, and that's why often they are not able to make arrests. In this case, at this intersection, they said that's what happened. They didn't make any arrests, but again, fortunately in this case, no one was injured. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, that's the good news. And as we all know, these are going to continue happening over and over again because these people, they love doing it. So.